First way, props to Disney for deciding to make a series out of one of their more obscure classics. And secondly, this happens to be Donald Duck's fourth currently running cartoon right now, proving how this bird is false. Though Daffy is still superior. It took him over a year to bring the soul over here in North America, but what end of the free cowboy was barely disappointed as a funny Bensworthy adventure, starring everyone's favorite psycho duck, his Brazilian pal, and his Mexican pal. There were two Canadian animation studios responsible for the beautiful visuals, so of course that would make me feel proud. Plus the studio that made the Drawn Together movie. Also, I admire how, just like the movie, everything starts off during Donald's birthday, only without the boring home movies. So after his wife starts falling apart, Donald gets an inheritance from his great-grandpa, not Ludwig von Drake, then meets Jose Carioca and Pancito Gonzalez, and then they find a golden book and free Zandra, goddess of chaos, I mean adventure! With her beauty and wit, this woman steals the soul for me, as well as my heart. It helps us see his voice by Great Wild Griffin. So anyway, it turns out that Donald and Jose and Pancito are actually descendants of a legendary trio of heroes named the Free Caballeros. After finding that out, the Free Federal folks must train under Zandra's supervision to become the mightiest they could be, protecting the world from this evil Wayne Knight Goose who's accompanied by a duck bootleg of Jafar's snake staff and his flying monkey rat donkey bat. It's safe for me to say that What's Another Free Caballeros is a rare instance of a uh, TV adaptation being even better than the film. Matt Danner and his crew did an exceptional job at creating an engaging tale out of a package film that really didn't have that much story to begin with. So if you're into ducks and have a Disney Plus subscription, give this show a shot! Time's up. Oh sh I forgot to talk about the Eric Kukenberg!